it appears that the Seattle real estate market is finally slowing down. My name is Karen Jackson. I'm a realtor with John L. Scott in the Seattle, Washington area and surrounding cities. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, go and hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. That way, when I put out a new video, you'll be notified. So that home buying frenzy that we've had over the past couple years, it may be softening up just a little. In this video, I'm going to show you what it means to you if you're planning to buy or sell a house in this greater Seattle area. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you some practical tips that you can use to navigate this crazy new normal real estate market we're in. So let's go over the average days on market in the King County real estate market for the different price ranges. In the zero to $500,000 price range, these homes used to sell in just a matter of days. They are now taking just a little bit longer. The average days on market is approximately 15 days right now. Some are still selling in just a matter of days. Others are taking up to 30 days or so. 1,000 to 750,000 price range is where the majority of our homes lie. They are currently taking average of eight days on the market. The 750,000 to 900,000 price range are selling in eight days as well, just about the same as the homes in the 500 to 750 range. This is a little bit different because traditionally the homes in the lower price ranges tend to sell much quicker than the homes in the little bit higher price range. It seems to be a little bit reversed right now. In the $950,000 to $1.5 million price range, those are at 10 days on the market. And the 1.5 million and greater are still selling very, very quickly. Last I looked, there were only six homes on the market in this range. Keep in mind that a normal market is 30 days on the market. So we are still well below that. So we are starting, we are starting to see a few home contingencies in offers, which means they have to sell their home first in order to purchase the new one. This is pretty unheard of in a spring market. I have even heard of a new construction builder giving an incentive for buyers to purchase their homes. We haven't seen this in a very long time. That definitely tells us that things are changing. Builders only give incentives typically if they have homes sitting on the market that are not sold. Usually they sell via pre-sale. So we are definitely experiencing an adjustment. Why is this market shift happening? There are a few reasons for this. There are home buyers out there that have been trying to buy a house for quite a while and they've been beaten up over the crazy frenzy market that we had. They put in multiple offers and didn't get a home and now they're tired. They are just worn out. And to top it off, interest rates keep going up and up. Interest rates are almost double what they were a year ago. It appears that the price ranges that are impacted the most by interest rates are typically the price points for first time home buyers, or maybe that move up buyer that's in their starter home and trying to get a little bit larger home. A good number of the first time home buyers and second home buyers are putting their home search on pause and taking a little breather. We're also seeing investors taking a little step back. It's not a perfect flipping market, and they're also paying attention to the interest rates. The result is there's not as many buyers competing for the same home. Another reason for the softening is due to more inventory. So this happens every year about this time. The peak time for a seller to list their home for sale is usually May to June. This means this is when we have the most inventory on the market for the year. This is when our weather is nicer, families are preparing for the new school year, the yards look pretty, this means there's more houses to choose from for a buyer, but more competition for a seller. Let's take a look at the current months of inventory on hand. What this means is if time stood still, it would take this amount of time to sell off all of our inventory of houses. Normal or even market is four to six months of inventory. 
in all price points, we have less than one month of inventory. So we're still super low on inventory. 500,000 range, we have 0.8 months of inventory. In January, it was 0.5, so you can see that increase. In the 500,000 to 750,000 range, we have 0.6 months of inventory, and in January, it was 0.3. In the $950,000 to $1.5 million price range, it is 0.6 months of inventory. In January, it was the same. And in the 1.5 million plus, it is 0.7, and it was also the same in January. There is not a prediction for a massive drop in prices. The reason that home prices drop is because we have way too much supply for demand. So we have way more houses than we have buyers to purchase them. And that is not the case right now. As you can see from the chart before, we're very low on inventory. And those home sellers that are listing in anticipation of a bull market where prices were going 100 to 150,000 above, they are going to have to get a little bit more realistic and adjust their pricing strategy. They're going to have to adjust their prices to compete with the competition and attract buyers. I don't know if it's just a pause for buyers to catch their breath or if it will continue to be the new trend. There's a strategy to list a house on a Thursday and then do an offer review date on a Monday or Tuesday. I have seen many houses listed lately trying to use that strategy, but when they get to their offer review date, they have no offers. It is now time for sellers to adjust that strategy for the new market. So if you're a buyer out looking for a new home, you're likely to see more homes for sale and less competition between buyers. So let me give some advice to buyers and sellers in the King County real estate market who are looking to buy or sell a home near the Seattle area. If you are a buyer who is not dependent on getting a mortgage or you have a very large down payment and the rising interest rates does not affect you too much, this could be your golden opportunity. There are likely fewer buyers out there looking for homes you may be able to take a couple days to think on it, and you most likely are not going to have to pay the hundred to $150,000 above list price. You also can probably have an inspection. You may not even have to compete with multiple offers. And then when the interest rates do come down a little bit, you can refinance. Now, if you are a buyer that is dependent on a mortgage and you don't have a lot to put down, the rise in interest rates is going to affect you more. You will want to talk to your lender and work closely with them to see what is the new price range you can afford, what your new payment would be, and where you would be comfortable. And also see if there's any other options for buy downs of the rate or adjustable rate mortgages. If things continue how they're going, you hopefully won't have to pay a wild amount above list price. The homes that are priced well, that are showing really well in great neighborhoods and modern updates are going to sell the fastest. Now, if you're a seller and you're selling your home in the King County real estate market, you have to be very strategic on your pricing and be careful not to be the highest priced home around. You need to realize that the market has changed and softened a little bit. And if your home was good enough in the past, it may not be good enough right now. There's a lot more competition. The buyers tend to get a lot pickier. The past frenzy market we just experienced, sellers didn't have to do a lot of repairs. This shift is now changing, so the homes that are in great condition are selling faster. You need to have your home all shiny and cleaned and staged and modern looking. You may have to do those maintenance repairs that you didn't have to do before. If you're planning to put your home on the market, you need to be better than your competition. You need to be the best home out there so that buyers choose yours over the other houses on the market. Your home has to have a strong value so buyers choose yours over the others. And of course, hire yourself a very professional, very experienced, and very aggressive listing agent to get your home sold. The days of just sticking a sign in your yard are probably gone for a little while. A very good realtor is going to maximize the value that you can get for your home. This is not the time to pick a real estate agent who has not been through this type of market in their career. 
or who works real estate as a side job. Please email me at kjackson at johnallscott.com with any questions you may have. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one.